All right, in this video, we're going to connect a new Mac, and by new, I'll show you what I mean by new, to our network DTNSW. If you go to about this Mac, you'll see that uh, this Mac has Sonoma 14.2.1 installed in it. So it's uh, the latest version of Mac OS, and I believe uh, Ventura, Mac OS, I think it's 13, is exactly the same uh, configuration as Sonoma. And what I'm looking for realistically is right here in appearance, uh, sorry, in, in system settings. Uh, this system settings looks very, very different to uh, system settings on older Macs, which is where the problem lies. So I'll show twice on this one. So once you've got your password uh, and we're ready to, con to connect, go to uh, system settings, privacy and security, and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And right down the bottom, you'll see we have profiles. Now I have no profiles installed on this computer, um, but if you've come from a Catholic school, or from a private school, you may have security profiles for that school or for Paramount Diocese installed. If you do see um, uh, profiles for CEDP or a private school, remove them. Simple enough to click on them and then click on the minus button and that should remove them from your computer. You may have to provide admin uh, rights to do that, so uh, an admin's username and password, but they have security settings for those schools that probably will interfere with our school here. So if we can get rid of them before we start, that will be good. The other thing we'll look at is notifications. Um, I prefer less notifications to more, and I'd rather turn them off and not worry about them. So here, for example, I don't know why GarageBand is sending me notifications. Turning that off, thank you. Um, and you'll see I don't have much installed on this computer, and most of what I have installed is off. Turn that one off as well, I don't need it. iMovie sending me notifications. Kerberos is a login system. I don't really need that either. And as I said, I'm a fan of less than more. Stuff that I will keep on, mail, messages. You know, I talk to my family through that. But pretty much everything else I'm gonna get rid of um, because I don't want the continual dinging while I'm trying to be work, trying, trying to work. All right, so once I've re uh, removed profiles, like I said, down here in privacy and security profiles, turned off some notifications, uh, I'm ready to connect. So go to Wi-Fi. And we'll see a network here called Debt New South Wales, and I'll be prompted to connect. Uh, now, I have a student's account detail to use here to show how students work. So we use that. And you'll notice that I'm putting a DETNSW in her username. And I do have permission to use this account. Uh, so username at Debt New South Wales. Please include those seven characters when you log in. It makes stuff work more easily. Uh, and password, remember information, this is good, okay. It might prompt you, oh, it'll ask you to authenticate. Are you sure you want the security certificate? Yes, thanks. And it might prompt you for an admin's username and password. It hasn't for me, that's okay. Now I have to do one more thing. Zip over here to details. And in details, we need to look at TCP IP, make sure it's set for using DHCP. Lots of nerdy uh, letters there, just using DHCP is important. DNS can only be set to this, and that's manual by the way. If you have other DNS servers, ask and we'll show you how to remove them. They must be removed. Uh, for you nerds out there, that means you can't use open relays or um, VPNs. And proxies, I would like to select auto proxy discover and okay, done. We've got that finished. Now the next thing we need to do is go to Chrome and authenticate our device. Now I'm going to authenticate through guest mode because I have my own credentials stored. So I'll do guest mode so you can see what it will look like for uh, you for the first time for students. So I need to go to detnsw.net and I apologize for the noise in the background, there are people enjoying themselves. So let's go again using our students uh, credentials and her password. Now notice here I have not added the at DETNSW because there is no consistency in the world. And we'll log in. <clears throat> and we are nearly authenticated. Yep, now we're authenticated. Easy. And that's how we get connected to the net. Now if you see this window, the window that says your connection is not private, it means you haven't logged in. So again, we'll log in. Um, I'll still use a student account. Okay. 
Do I want to save this password now? Uh, because it's not my account, I'm going to say no. But you should probably save it, so you've got it sitting there. But I'm going to say no, you should say yes. And I would then, uh, this is a Mac, so Command D, and I'd bookmark this because I'm going to use it every single day. So maybe call it uh, D-E-T-N-S-W, and then save it in your bookmarks bar, done. Now I've already got mine stored, so I'm not going to save that, but you should. Okay, and there you are connected to Debt New South Wales. Should be able to browse. So if I now reload this page, I'm fixed. So once you've logged in, whether you be on a PC, Mac, or iPad, uh, I would go to portal.education.nsw.gov.au, which is your student portal or your staff portal portal.education.nsw.gov.au and you'll notice that I typed it. It's not difficult to type an address. Just thinking about it, so here I am at my, this is my staff portal. Your student portal looks a little different, but there's a few things we have in common. One of them is the Google Workspace. Now if it's the first time you log on to the Google Workspace, you'll get a speed hump, but otherwise make sure you can open your Google Drive, make sure you can open your Google Classroom. And for you students, this will not work for me. In fact, it's not even there. Uh, also open your email. I don't have the email um, option because I'm a teacher, but you'll have somewhere in here, Gmail. And yes, great, that works. And here is, uh, yes, my classrooms work as well. So that means that they're ready to go. And whether you're on a PC, a Mac, or an iPad, an old Mac, a new Mac, a Linux machine, PC, whatever, you should check these out before you leave the tech center so that if there's a problem, you know what you you'll you can ask for help and we can help you, help you to solve it. Okay, thanks you all. Have a great day.